What's up guys, Bill here at Mad Max, and today we are going over the final chapter of the long-awaited SPR project build Mark 12 Mod 2 thing. So, uh, some of you might have known, but I, I got a little uh, playlist of following the build of this gun, everything that's gone through. I haven't updated in a long time, just because I'm busy with a lot of other things. But I'm going to do one final overview of it. Um, I got some footage of me messing around shooting at close quarters, showing that it can be used up close and personally. But primarily, this is definitely a at-range gun. I'm going to go over the parts that have changed. Actually, I'm just going to go front to back. All right, so up front here, I put on the Allen Engineering uh, suppressor mount and collar with the little uh, thread protector here. I will, oh, a lot of people want to see this. Core clear. But uh, I'm eventually going to get the suppressor for it. Uh, up here, we got just a regular Amazon special tilting bipod. Does the job. I mean, I don't have any problems with it, it's sturdy enough for what I do. This rail here, we got the Geisley Mark IV, I believe, it, Mark III or IV, I don't know. It's like one of the first gens of the Geisley rail, but it's got the Picatinny up front here, and M-Lock all around. Great rail. I prefer my Mark 14, but you know, it, it, it's good it, for, it's a good rail. Um, the barrel, Ballistic Advantage SPR, their Mark 12 type barrel, so it does have the thing for the collar. I um, believe it's one in seven twist. If it's not, I'll annotate it. But it, shoot, it shoots. Heavy, if you're shooting anywhere from a 69 grain to a 77 grain, this bad boy shoots out. The, uh, last time I took it out, I'll put in the, some videos of it. Might not be the best demonstration. I have hit plenty of sub inch groups with this before with. Uh, specifically Black Hills 77 grain 556 kind of like the Mark 262 stuff and 75 grain Hornady open tip match moving back it is a arrow precision stripped receiver set just the standard receivers nothing special there uh, the charging handle is the BCM gunfighter can't go wrong with that and the bolt carrier is an aim surplus black nitride standard stuff there uh, didn't try to break the bank on that but what's really special about this build is it's got to be the barrel and the trigger. I got a Geisley SDE, the flat face, super dynamic elite. I'll get up close to that, but this trigger is money. It's the same thing as the SSAE, both flat face. And you get a little bit more leverage and control, I think, in my opinion, with the flat blade. But that's up, for, up to you to decide. Up top here, I want budget with that. It is the uh, primary arms, the ACS has four to 14 with the little uh, sun shield, I guess you could call it up there. One, it looks cool. Two, it's got the ACS reticle, which is probably the best self-ranging reticle in on the market right now. Tons of people have videos out there on it, but for the 200 whatever dollars that this glass cost you cannot beat it it's clear it adjusts well I've done the box test on it, it it's just the best budget-minded in price not in quality the best budget-minded scope on the market it is mounted in a the aero precision ultralight mount uh, 30 millimeter got a standard uh, magpole 
MOE plus grip on it. Regular old uh, selector, safety selector. Back here, this is one of the last things I switched out on it. I used to have a regular carbine, uh, or carbine buffer tube and stock, but I decided to switch it for the the uh, rifle length by Magpul just to give it more of the SPR feel and it just feels the way it should. Um, I sh should let you know I have a, I was experimenting around, I have an AR-10 buffer spring in here. With lighter loads, it won't, it won't uh, cycle right. But with like the sta a standard 223 or 556 load, it cycles fine, brass case, all cycles fine. Uh, I got a slow-mo video of it double feeding that could have been a magazine issue but I believe it didn't it didn't fully extract the spent casing and then it came forward with uh, a new round so I'll put a slow the slow-mo video of that and you'll get to see that but honestly I love this gun man. all the parts on it are great uh, don't forget, got the little bad lever there. Everyone needs one of those. I mean, I'm just kidding. They're all right, but it's not necessary. But you can run and gun with it. It can shoot at distance. I've taken it out to 400 meters and hit a man-sized target every time. With 55 grain, especially with the heavier stuff, it's just crushing it no problem. Um, and the ACSS reticle is, I zeroed it at 100 and boom, 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 200, 300, 400. I brought it out to, and when I brought it out to 400, everything was perfect with it. No problems at all. Uh, that is about it. This is my final overview of my SPR build that I deemed the Mark 12 Mod 2, I think. But it is not really anything Mark 12 about it except the barrel length and the muzzle brake at this point, so um, it, it's my SPR. Uh, thank you guys for watching again. Please share, comment if what your thoughts are on it. Let me know, tell me what you really think. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching again, I'll see you next time.